These are the faces of the Spanish martyrs that will be beatified on October 13th. They all lost their lives during one of the most brutal religious persecutions in modern history. The youngest was Ángel Sánchez Rodríguez. He was only 18 years old when he was shot and killed in Madrid, along with his fellow Carmelites. Most of them were very young. There were some students and young priests, but above all, the victims were religious, so they are a modern example of martyrdom. They wrote farewell letters to their parents and brothers. After all their suffering, there came a point where they knew they only had one or two days to live. In those letters, they write that they will die in the name of the Lord. The beatification will take place in the Spanish city of Tarragona, where most of the martyrs were killed. That list includes Bishop Manuel Borras and also 146 fellow martyrs. Most of them were killed during the Spanish Civil War. Instead of running away from their fate, they refused to reject their faith. They didn't die for political reasons, nor did they fight in a war, but they did stand up for their faith. They died because they didn't want to reject it or their love for Jesus Christ. And that's exactly how they've been remembered for generations, as martyrs who forgave their killers without seeking revenge. When a person knows that someone has been a martyr, they usually tell a bishop so that a canonization process can get started. The whole point lies in proving that it was really martyrdom. Living a virtuous life also matters, of course, but the most important thing is to prove that element of martyrdom. It's not the first time that Christians have been persecuted in Tarragona. The first three martyrs of the Iberian Peninsula were burned to death in that city back in the 3rd century.